Hey, what's up, everybody? Hey, MP here. Um, as you might be aware, we are running traffic in some of our setups, and I've done some videos on uh, how to set up traffic and just playing around with it. Um, we have a Docker Swarm setup, and we use traffic to set up all of our domains and all the routing um, and protecting URLs, um, and it's pretty fabulous. Um, one of the authentication methods is um, forward auth. <clears throat> so by authentication methods, I mean what you can do in traffic is you can specify that you need to be logged in or a certain user to access this container. And you can mark that um, right in your Docker Compose files um, or however you want to label your containers. Um, and forward auth is, is one of those methodologies. So with forward auth, what you can do is you can tell each container that gets spun up in traffic that you would like it to check, to go to a URL to check to see if the current user um, has access to this container. And it's what's known as forward auth because it's, it's um, sort of outsourcing that to a third party. Now, the third party could be a paid service, um, or it could be a little internal service that uh, you maintain that just does the brokering of getting the current user, checking to see if they're logged in or not, if they're not, log them in, um, and then coming back to the container and telling traffic whether to let them in or not. Um, and it's very popular in the microservice approach. So here on the traffic website, we see uh, the forward auth page. And you can see that uh, it says, using an external service to check for credentials. So here's the, our user. The user makes a uh, request. And traffic grabs that request. And it says, oh, you're trying to get to this domain. Well, the container that this domain, um, where this domain resides, which is really over here, it has a label on it to say, I want you to go to the forward auth service and make sure that this user is okay to proceed. So what traffic does is before it gets to this container, it reroutes them to the auth server. The auth server checks their credentials and comes back with either okay or not okay. Um, and it's really simple to set up. So on your containers that you would like to um, lock down, you add this label. So um, it's a middleware for, for forward auth, and you point it to your auth server. So the question immediately is, well, how do we make this auth server? Um, so we, I made a, uh, a little auth server that is a GitHub OAuth, where um, you can, the user can log in via GitHub and GitHub will manage uh, telling our little OAuth server whether the user is logged in or not. Um, so if we pop over to the code, this might be what your setup looks like. So we have our auth server here, and it's a Node.js app, and it's running at the auth.hexms.localhost domain. Um, uses Post Postgres to store its users. And it's responsible for two things. So the first thing that's responsible for is the actual auth route. And this auth route is what um, the forward auth, um, the forward auth um, functionality in traffic is pointing to. It's what, it's, what it relies on. So what it does is it checks to see if the user is um, authenticated. And if it's not, it sends a redirect to have them log in to the auth server. But if it is, it responds with OK, and they can proceed. Um, so what that looks like is if we, if we go to the auth server, let's see sign up with GitHub. And what I'm also going to do is I'm also going to go to 
slash GraphQL because this auth server that I made has a, um, a GraphQL server built in. So it's, it's, it has its own API. Because what we want to do is every time a user logs in through GitHub, we want to set them up in our database and store their access token um, from GitHub so that we can um, do things like set up repositories and, and check to see what the username is. Um, so if we go back here and we click sign in with GitHub, that is going to trigger the GitHub OAuth sign in. And we're going to authorize my user. And now you can see that I'm logged into the auth server. And if we go to playground and list our users, you can see that I am now a new user in the auth server and um, storing my token. And it's just a temporary token, so don't worry about stealing it. Okay, so how does that work with traffic? Well, like I mentioned, we also have that auth route. So this auth route is going to return OK or not OK. So as you can see, it's returning OK with a status code of 200. And if I refresh, I can go to status code 200. If I log out and try to go to slash auth, it will, uh, we can actually see this. So this was our initial attempt to go to auth whenever we weren't logged in. And we get a 302, which redirected us to um, authenticate with GitHub. And it came back and gave us the OK sign. So if we go back, we now have a status 200 again. So how does that work with our um, child containers? So like I said, to utilize this forward auth, we just need to add a label. And I'm running uh, traffic uh, to version two. So it, it's, or I'm sorry, 1.7. Um, so these labels are gonna be slightly different in version two, but it's generally the same concept where you say auth forward address and I'm pointing it to that auth URL on our auth server. So the URL that's gonna return either okay or not okay. And that's it. So let's visit this demo, which is just a out of the box Nginx server. Before I do that, I'm going to log out though. And then I'm going to go to here. Um, let's see. Oh, right. So it actually automatically authenticated us. And the reason it did that is because we have some logic in our auth URL that if they are not logged in, then we want to redirect them to the login automatically. And so that's why even if I try to log out, I can't. So that's, that can be configurable. So let's say that we didn't want to do that. Let's say that instead of doing that, we're just going to send res ko with res header, or I'm sorry, res status of 403, which means not logged in or access denied. And so now we get a KO um, or whatever the result of the screen is. So if I wanted to, I could actually not 
just give them a just a KO message here. I could just redirect them back to the login screen or just the home page. So now they're signed in with GitHub. Maybe we do this. Where we put a redirect query parameter on there to redirect them back to the original service. So they'll sign in, and it doesn't look like that functionality is working, but you get the idea. So now we come back here, and they can access um, Nginx. So um, that is forward auth with traffic. Um, so you could create any auth server method you want. So um, you could use uh, service like uh, Keycloak, where Keycloak uses a variety of different um, login methods. Um, but it also acts as a, an auth server that you could use um, something like forward auth and traffic to point to Keycloak to check to see if the current user is logged in and then grant them or deny them access to your containers. So, um, yeah, hope you liked it. See you later.